Candace Colfer became a household name in 2009 playing Kurt on Glee, but he has been writing stories his whole life since the age of seven. He's New York Times best-selling author. He's released his 13th book and the sixth book in his Land of Stories series titled Worlds Collide, and he joins us now. Chris, good morning from New York. We are so excited but sad that this is the last one in this collection, but I want to go way back. It says you started these at age seven. So what was going on in your mind at age seven? Oh, too much. That, that's why I found writing so therapeutic. I could, I could get, out the, get out the voices and the, and the crazy bubbling inside me. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I started writing them when I was um, about seven, um, and uh, it was very difficult to write a novel when you're seven because I had a, a limited vocabulary at the time. Uh, it's still kind of limited, actually. Uh, <laughs> but um, but uh, you know, so I promised myself then that uh, I would uh, try to get it published one day, and, uh, and then published the first one uh, five years ago, and uh, now here we are at, at book number six. I hear you had the toughest editor. Ooh, Tell me yeah. who, at seven years old, who was <laughs> reading your books? Yes, uh, uh, my grandmother was my editor uh, when I was seven, um, and uh, I would uh, write up uh, a chapter or so, and I'd, I'd get on my, 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 my big wheel, and I would go down to her house, and uh, I'd, I'd hand her the chapter, and she'd spell check it, she'd grammar check it, um, and if she liked it, she'd, she'd keep it in a pile, but if she didn't like it, she'd crumble it up in front of me and throw it away and say, Christopher, you can do better. I need so, to know right. more about Grandma. What is her name? What do you call her? Is she still your editor? <laughs> Give us all the scoop. Well, I don't know if I should, I should reveal her name because she's wanted in four states. Um, but, <laughs> I knew I liked her. Uh, uh, yeah, no, she, she, she's wonderful. She's always been my, my biggest uh, cheerleader and, and, and champion. Oh, that's fantastic. So tell us about this latest book. I mean, you conclude the whole series here. Is this something that you envisioned from the very first book that you started writing? Kind of like J.K. Rowling, how she mapped out the whole thing? No, I, I wish I had known that we were going to be doing six books, uh, but I, I just started off pursuing one and, and one only, and, and luckily that one did well, so I did a sequel, and that one did better than the first, and, uh, and so I said, okay, I'll do, I'll do four, but then I'll, I'll stop at four, um, and then, of course, uh, I decided to do two more because I didn't want to say goodbye to the characters yet. Uh, so you know, I really wish I had a. I had started with a with a, a more thorough plan of, of where things were going, but mm -hmm. I, I was surprised just as much as the readers were. How are fans going to feel about you wrapping it up? How is the ending? Because your fans are fanatical. You know, I, I would never, ever, ever use the word perfect to describe anything that I've ever been a part of, but I really do think this series has the perfect ending. So mm -hmm. I really hope the readers uh, agree. For me personally, it was uh, exactly what I would have wanted to, to read if, if I was in their shoes. But this, you know, the, the cool thing about this is though it may continue on into film, right? You're already talking to 20th Century Fox, and I understand you want to write and direct, is that right? Well, that's what's happening. Um, yeah. uh, 20th Century Fox uh, uh, bought the, the film rights, and they're going to let me write and direct. So I could not be more uh, excited, nervous, terrified, uh, every human emotion at once. Chris, you know everybody in this town, so let's talk a little casting, mm -hmm. okay? Let's oh, put take yeah. the big players in the book. Who do we like? Give me your dream team. Well, I think I'm just going to send the script to Meryl Streep oh, with yeah. a post-it that says anything you want. <laughs> um, uh, but, uh, you know, I, of course, have a have lists and lists of, of, of different actors and actresses I, I hope I'm fortunate enough to work with for this. Uh, and, uh, but I don't want to really re reveal them now, of course, because mm -hmm. I don't want anyone to feel like they were my, my second choice. I've, I've been that guy many times. Oh, that's well, a good What about call. you? Do you want to see yourself having a part in it? Uh, my, my readers do. I do not. Come uh, on. I, I think it's a little self-obsessed to yes. write a book, adapt it, direct it, then start, you know, cast myself in it. And do it. Hey, no, it's Hollywood no, 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 all I, the time. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I enjoy being behind the camera these days. The older I get, you know. Interesting. I so know, did I it thinking. change in you? Are you no longer thinking acting? You're you're going on into directing and producing and writing full time? Oh no! I mean, I, I don't know. I, I I hope I can continue everything. Um, I I haven't really quite made like a a choice to, to stick to one or the other. I'm just trying to try to take whatever whatever is coming yeah. my way when when it when it comes. I was thinking about all the TV musicals that yeah. are out. Would you ever do one of those? I was thinking you've had to be approached for all these ones in the past. You'd be fantastic on those. Oh, thank you, thank you. I, I mean, I, I can't imagine like the the adrenaline those those performers feel uh, at, at, at when you know, when it goes live. But I would, I would love to do one.
Right, we'll I can see him in that. Speaking of musical theater, I know that you were just supporting Amber Riley in London, who is uh, <laughs> starring on the stage there. What was that like getting reunited with your Glee, um, Glee star? Oh, I mean, I, I we text at least once a week, so so it wasn't much of a reunion, but it was wonderful to see her on on stage. She she made me cry. She made me laugh. She. She got, I think, four or five standing ovations before even the curtain call happened. So I was so, so proud of her. What when, play is she when, in uh, there? She's in Dream Girls in the West Girls. End, and uh, and I, I saw her opening night, um, and I just I was blown away. She she never ceases to amaze me. Well, you amaze us, Chris. Congratulations on this. Well, and we done. can't wait Thank to you. see who you cast. The Land of Stories: Worlds Collide is available right now.